Don't need no introduction. You already know my name, yo. <laughs> <laughs> this segment is brought to you by Athlete's Feet. <laughs> <laughs> if you got them. <laughs> we should all get up and dance to this song. Shout out to Footloose. <laughs> we wrong. It's a holiday. Happy Labor Day to everyone out there. <laughs> it's your boy. You get no words with that? Eric Buffet. Leave it for us. For those yeah, who don't get, know. Go right to Footloose. You gotta go right to the Footloose. <laughs> Footloose. <laughs> Which would probably happen. Who's Footloose? <laughs> We're. Now tell us the backs. What for real? What's up? What's up? My friends gonna be pissed, but um, <laughs> shouldn't tell me secrets. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't tell Claudia. When it's comedy, I just so this guy like he had like prosthetic legs, so. <laughs> and she didn't know. No, he, he didn't have like a hitch in his giddy up. I mean, he he had to like take a shower and he like, unhooked the legs. And <laughs> he went from six feet to four two. And, wow. We only had to wash half his body. <laughs> Damn. I heard he's allergic to pig's feet too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, you got some more body wash. <laughs> I don't need Reach all. family. Pete Ty, Mr. Lego in it. Are you just Tony gonna Moore, read names? Randomly? John Davis. What's up with that? Team reach Wait around. I gotta get him in on these segments. So he took his legs off. He just worked his way around the house. <laughs> with, with a little back arms. So no one else is about the handicap. Did he? Hit? No, no, he did not. Didn't. Why she got turned off? He couldn't brace himself. He couldn't what? <laughs> <laughs> I guess she put his legs up. Oh, I'm sorry. He put oh, that leg up. <laughs> it's awful. Oh my god, I feel bad. You so know, no. you know. Normally, when you get done, you go. You want me to get you? Can you get us something to drink? <laughs> this is too much. Oh, my legs. I go get it. So, what handicaps could you guys like? What, what would you absolutely not be able to deal with? Like, be too much for you? No, I, I heard the ones, the girls that would, that's paralyzed, you just kind of throw the legs behind the head. And that's because they're dislocating that joint. That's not yeah, good. You just throw it back there. Because they don't have no feeling and they could just yeah, they take more it. flexible. Just pound. Just um, I don't know. I can't. It's hard to say. I mean, so you never the guy know came how over he... and he took his legs off. And jumped up on the counter. So what's happening? <laughs> jumped up on the counter. <laughs> Did a backflip on the counter. You still not gonna hit. Anyway, missing arms, legs. Anybody? Could you do that? Well, missing arms. I did go she to this hug website, me. badblindbitches.com. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going through the Wait profiles. Minute, what is it called? Badblindbitches.com. <laughs> gotcha. So I'm going through the profiles, and all the girls is wearing glasses. So this one girl didn't have glasses on. She was kind of cute. Mm. She was in Kansas. So, you know, speed. I had a little couple of chips. So I flew her in. I picked her up at the airport. But, you know, before she got to the airport, I told her, you know, baby, I'm doing it. You know, I got a navigator. I got a boat. I got all this, right? <laughs> you forgot what you had put so, on shit. She blind, so she can't see none of this. Yeah. So I pick her up at the airport, get her to the curb. So I'm putting the bags in the trunk and everything. So I lean her up against the truck up against the mirror. So she was filling the mirror. She said, this ain't no Navigator. This is an 85 Nissan. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't know she was going to fill the whole truck. Oh, damn. <laughs> so shout out to blind bitches, <laughs> badbitches.com. Oh, my God. <laughs> that that was hysterical. <laughs> I don't know if I could do somebody blind. Oh, shit. <laughs> no? Nobody <sighs> blind? No. Hey, I can do it. You can do I it? I did a midget. Yeah. What made you do a Blind midget? is. I had to get that off the bucket list. So you oh, had okay. two midgets? Yeah, two different ones. My uncle slept with a midget too. He ain't half bad, huh? <laughs> well, he's like six feet tall. <laughs> he's like six feet tall and he like kind of like gets it in, you know? So my cousin, he said, you know, one day I saw my father walking down the street. He had his little kid on the shoulders. I was like, what the fuck he had on the shoulders? And I got up on him and he said it was this girl that he was dating. And she had a son that was a midget too. And he was like all state in wrestling. Cause you know they have like a real low center of gravity there. Right, right. <laughs> right. They really get right. it in. They strong you know? around your ankle. Yeah, they they got hell. They strong. They, they shoulders are strong as hell. But she had the little. She had the big butt, the big head. You had the little rabbit rabbit arms. You like the little short arm, but that little. He likes Tyrannosaurus Rex arms. You like that? So Speedy, I mean, how, what's the conversation like? I mean. <laughs> You sitting on the little couch or what you what is little when, table? When was it? When uh, what point did you guys decide you're gonna have sex? Right. And when I got to her house. I, once I get to your house, it's going down. That's oh why I, I got to your house. So was it a two story Barbie doll house? <laughs> <laughs> little Corvette in the yard? What's going no, on? No, she actually lived in uh 
in uh, what is that? Fox Hills. Oh, okay. Those, uh, those oh, gotcha. condos over there. Those little right condos. There. <laughs> <laughs> she actually lived in the, in the uh, closet. But no, what's she that? Was cool. Like, was it bad? Like a big bad? Was she it had small, a uh, twin she size. Had a, she had a, <laughs> it was a queen size. Was thing. it different? Was her vagina different? No, it was different? the same. It was, it was, it was that, oh, see, I, I know you. Was I, deep. That means you got a small one. I just know it. It was deep. <laughs> There's no I way it could be deep. No, it was. It's like skinny girls are deep. Claudia. You didn't know that. Skinny girls I mean, deep. Big girls are kind of little shallow. Can't take much. Really? Mm. They're like, ah. Oh. So wait a minute. You're, if you're saying big girls are shallow, I mean, have Some little, have little small vaginas, Some and people. you like them all the time, that proves my point that you have a small penis. Well, it's only one way. Elementary, out. my dear Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> with the go Pocahontas. One plus one is two. So mm. okay, clear that anyway. mystery out. Yeah, we cleared that. Out. Moving on. Cool. Yeah, you were listening to Reach Around Radio. It's your boy Speedy. Um. T.I. was out of jail Thursday. Okay. And, and, went, back. and went right back in Friday. <laughs> wow. Are you serious? That boomerang. For what? Serious. Well, apparently uh, officials are upset that he was transported um, on his tour bus to the halfway house. Yeah, you're uh, supposed to have your mama come get you, dog. Yeah, you're to... yeah, when they give you your gate money, you at least got to walk out of range. Well, he did. What the thing about it is, I think they're just messing with him. One yeah. thing, right. he, he already know had. That, he he they are. He th he already said that he'd be responsible for his own transportation. Yeah, but still, he was supposed to be transported, I think, in a van or yeah. something. What it is, is they used to have a van there that comes pick you up, takes you to the halfway house. Right. Then you, you wait till you get to the halfway house, learn all the rules, wait a few minutes, and say, can I go get something? They so he just flossed them. But you can't you can't do it like they can't a big-ass bus come with sitting on 52. But why is that illegal, though? Yeah, he's a free he's man. Here. But he's a free man. But no, he he's still has to go. To, it's a halfway house. He's not free. Okay, but you They're have to go there. to the hospital. They're not <laughs> providing him with kind a like ride. Kind of like the guy right? at the, at the I think he house. had to submit what he was getting picked up in for some reason. And they thought no, that you go to a, a van. Van. You're still property of the state. Wow. I think they're messing with them. I love state this song, though, by the way. I told my MCL dancing to the song once. You know, <laughs> I tried to do a James Brown split. But wow. You know, there. You, and, and for those who don't know, Claudia is hilarious on the dance floor she do the snake <laughs> she does that shit right, on the ground right, where she right. do the worm she kick worm, kick worm. i backspin i couldn't believe that was you i saw your hair come loose and i said that's <laughs> the poke on it. you took a picture of me and you gave it to I me for christmas did. as a christmas I present frame did. that was very nice of you speedy yes, I did. wow i love you what what uh-oh <laughs> i like you <laughs> revelation. <laughs> revelation but speedy yes i'm female <laughs> yeah eric benet is hot right now <laughs> Eric Buffet is what they call it. Wow. Um, but the T.I. think yeah, you when you go in a halfway house, you have to, they still have to take you to that Well, location. you know, the cool part about it is Tiny okay. is reporting to T.I. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I, was I, waiting for, I was waiting for Claudia to say I'm something. Well, saying she's saying anything. that the police saw the bus when he came out. They've even taken pictures. Can you pass me those pigs in the blanket? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. They've even taken pictures of, uh, you know, with T.I. in front okay. of the bus. Right. So like they knew. <laughs> so that was a warden call. That was in. evidence. <laughs> yeah. You going to get in this bus? Hold up. Get the camera, dog. Sketch this one. That, that's that's, that's kind of messed saying up. Anything. That's kind well, of I'm assuming that he's going to be out in a couple of days. That doesn't seem like a major they should let him thing, out. is it? Mm -hmm. I love T.I. It depends yeah. on how they're going to violate it for a year. You know, so he's just, still in. He's still in. Uh -huh. You know what he probably said when he left. I ain't never coming back. <laughs> hey, what's happening, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> well, back, huh? Miracle said that people were placing bets on how soon he'd go back to jail, and one girl bet that it would be one day, and she won. How much wow. did she win? How much she win? Two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, that's a nice little pool. Two fifty. One day. I don't know. What would you have bet? I would hope that he wasn't going back to jail. Right. I, mean, I would have said six months. Such a talented guy. You know, like when he got sent to jail last time, you know, the movie Takers he was in was doing really well. Right. He's, you know, he's at a, just at a highlight, high point of his career. I really like T.I. as an artist. I do too. I really hope he can, they stop messing with him. So I think that was a silly reason to send him back to jail. The right. guns? No, not the guns. Oh, the, okay. This last thing. The this one day bid he did. Yeah. <laughs> one day bid. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all doing it big. What the fuck? Did you guys hear... Oh what? You have no story coming up? No, go ahead. It's just animal related. Go ahead. Um, a man was arrested for biting a live python in an unprovoked attack. <laughs> I heard about that. A Californian that. man, his name was David Senk, 
has been arrested on charges of unlawfully maiming or mutilating a reptile after he bit into a python. The snake is recovering in Sacramento. <laughs> the 54-year-old man bit the python drugs. while he was drunk, leaving the snake badly injured and in need of urgent medical care. Um, police found the man laying on the floor with blood on his face in Sacramento after an emergency call from a couple who claimed he had taken two bites out of their pet snake. Mm, so he got priors. He, <laughs> <laughs> he said that there was nothing to indicate that the snake provoked him at all. The man just went out the blue and just took a bite out of the snake. Um, I know that snake wish he had that Ouija board. He <laughs> cool. Dang, how, why do you buy? Why would you buy the snake? That's the pipe. It's got to be European. The, the, yeah. The, that the, should have been guessed which should have been, but you already would have Which is coming up. The python <laughs> required several stitches, stitches after the incident. Damn, he bit the shit out that thing. <laughs> And the man confessed to not remembering much about the event. He said, hey, I get drunk. I get crazy. I don't know. I bite shit. I've been in alcohol for a long time. Thought he was biting Speedy's python. He says, I'm not yeah. too far. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Oh, wow. This guy here. He said, I'm not too fond of snakes. I try not to bite them. It's usually the other way around. They bite me. They, he tries not to bite them like it's an obsession of his. I don't understand. He must be. And this is and a zoo his, or Whose snake was and it? And cock is all right news. <laughs> mm. Who's, where was the snake? Is it at his house? Or? Yeah. Was he said it was his neighbor. neighbor. It, wasn't even, uh, it wasn't even his snake to be biting. Wow. Uh, okay. Know. Well, coming up is uh, Guess Which Race. And we <laughs> yeah. have a special guest in the house that's coming up right here on Reach Around Radio on True LATalkLive.com. That. Phone lines are open, 323-247-7443. Guess which race coming Happy up. Happy Labor Day. Bring them out, bring them out. Hey. Bring them out, bring them out. Yeah. Bring them out, bring them out. Hey. Bring them out.